Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will learn about the Puppet template and how template can help for dynamic configurations. Templates are typically used to set up configuration files. Allowing for the use of variables and other features intended to make these files more reusable. Templates helps to provide dynamic configuration files and the goal of a template is to manage a complicated piece of text with simple inputs. In Puppet, you'll usually use templates to manage the content of configuration files. The template validation takes place on the Puppet Master while compiling the catalog. Templates are written in a specialized templating language that generates text from data. So now let's take an example of static file resource where in previous lesson we have to copy the complete tomcat.conf from modules files directory to the puppet clients. And we don't have control to manage the content inside the tomcat.conf file. So to change the path of Catalina home directory for node A and B for different environments will not be possible unless you use some kind of conditional logic and it will become so complex to manage on large scale. So to resolve this issue we can use Puppet Template. With Puppet Template you can assign the dynamic configuration to Puppet clients with the help of Hiera. So you don't have to write the code for every environment or every server. You only need to create a template and inside the template you need to define what values you want to manage through Hiera. So let's say we have two project, A and B, and for A project servers I want Catalina underscore home to be in slash USR slash share slash Tomcat A and for B project in slash USR slash share slash Tomcat B. So I don't have to write any condition inside the file, I just have to use a high error lookup to apply the changes based on project environment or server role. If you have hard time to understand Hira, don't worry, we have a complete module for Hira in this course and we will cover all the information in that module. Puppet supports two templating languages. Embedded Puppet, EPP uses Puppet expressions in special tags. EPP works with Puppet 4 and later. Embedded Ruby, ERB, uses Ruby code in tags, and requires some Ruby knowledge. ERB works with all Puppet versions. Embedded Puppet, EPP, has two tags for Puppet code expressions, optional tags for parameters and comments, and a way to escape tag delimiters. The following table provides an overview of the main tag types used with EPP. Insert the value of a single expression. Less than percent equals expression percent greater than. Execute an expression without inserting a value. Less than percent expression percent greater than. Declare the template's parameters. Less than percent, parameters percent greater than add a comment less than percent hash comment percent greater than an expression printing tag inserts the value of a single puppet expression into the output opening tag less than percent equals closing tag percent greater than closing tag with trailing white space and line break trimming dash percent greater than embedded ruby erb has two tags for Ruby code expressions, a tag for comments, and a way to escape tag delimiters. The following table provides an overview of the main tag types used with ERB. Insert the value of a single expression. Less than percent equals expression percent greater than. Execute an expression without inserting a value. Less than percent expression percent greater than. Add a comment. Less than percent hash comment percent greater than. An expression printing tag inserts the value into the output. Opening tag less than percent equals. Closing tag percent greater than. Closing tag with trailing white space and line break trimming percent greater than. Okay, 
So that's it for the template introduction, if you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to configure the Tomcat configuration file through Puppet template.